everyone, sorry I haven't made a video in so long, I've just been super busy, but um, I've got a special one for you today. Uh, we're going to be doing an evening look on my model Jasmine here. Um, so a little bit more dramatic than the natural looks I normally go for. So um, I'm going to be using quite a few new products today. The first one that we're going to use, um, oh sorry before I start, is you know it's always really important to start with a clean face, um, you know, clean slate as they say. So to start off with, we're going to be using CoverGirl's True Blend in number two. So this one's really good. Um, it's it's still really natural, um, and you just want to get the colour that suits Jasmine's skin tone. So I found the one that's right for her, and that's number seven. Oof, just dropped a bit on the floor there. So that's the consistency that it comes out like, just like that. So what we're going to do, you just um, you can apply this with your fingers or you can actually use a brush. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I've got this brush. Um, it's you just brushes. You can just pick them up from your local drugstore. Um, it's in number eight. So it's just um, fine tips. Um, they're really good for just, you know, anything really, anything on the face, they can do your eyeshadow, um, foundation, whatever, so just going to scoop up that, so it's on the brush, and you just want to blend it in really nice, see that just matches her skin, <gasps> be nice and delicate around the eye area, because it is quite sensitive, and a lot of people tend to forget that, and they go on poking things in there, and you, yeah, you can end up quite injured so just got a bit more on there now this really is um, what the name says it is uh, Covergirl True Blends because it just blends in really nicely and it's not a big deal I find if you don't get the exact colour right because you don't get the exact colour right because it just um, adapts to your skin colour anyway yeah I've heard a lot about this one now, it is um, a dewy look, I don't know if you can see that just yet, but it does tend to stay looking, as I said, just very gentle on the eyes, sorry, it does tend to um, stay looking wet, so if you like that sort of luminous dewy look, this is a good one. Um, sorry, and you just want to blend that down the neck, just a little bit, you don't need too much, because... This is her colour anyway, um, blending that down. And with these brushes, they are extremely good for applying makeup, but sometimes I find you just need to just blend it out a little bit with your fingers because you don't, the last thing you want is brush strokes on your face. <laughs> just get a little more for her neck. Just roughly on the neck, it's not too big a deal. That's looking really nice. Now, um, the next thing I will be using is this MAC. It's just sort of like a glowing powder. It's a loose one, and it just sort of reflects the light particles. Um, so what we're going to do, we're just going to dust that down the nose, on the cheeks, the chin, and just up there. Now, Jasmine, um, who knows... We want that just to really catch the light there, just to make it stand out a little bit more. Now, you can, what you can also do with that is you can put it on the eyelids, but we're going to be using um, some eyeshadow today, so we won't be doing that. But if you were going for the um, day's home look, you would use it on the eyelids, just for more of a natural glow. <coughs> so... I'm gonna, it's, we're still keeping it quite fairly natural, that's the sort of style I like to go for, so I'm gonna be using this palette here, they're in um, Jasmine's skin tone range, so I'll grab my brush. What we're gonna do is, it's what we call a rainbow, so we start with the light, uh, the dark, sorry, the darkest colour um, close to her eyelashes, and as we go up, we get lighter. So, as you can see, this one here is our lightest one. So, I'll just work that into the brush there. If you just close your eyes, Jasmine. So, I've done it in reverse order, really, but I'll just get that nice and up there. Bring that right to the eyebrow because 
it really makes it look like you have um, like larger eyelashes, uh, eyelids, sorry, and that's really what you want. So we're going to go back down the bottom. I'm just going to, and I find with this one it does really match the loose powder that we just put on. Just brush that to the side there because we're going to kind of smudge it out. Gives a um, sort of a smoky eye. It's quite a bronze look, this one actually. Just smudge it out. Put a bit of the neutral colour in the middle. Just to blend that in a bit more. Right. Um, I'm going to do the eyes next, so I'm going to need some liquid eyeliner. So I mean New York line stilettos um, today. Just get it out. Now, um, normally you would start from the very corner of the eye, but we're actually going to start from the outer edge, and we're just going to flick it out like that. And what this does is it gives the illusion that you that your eyelashes have continued um, on out, outside. Especially from a distance I find it just looks like you've got these lovely flicking eyelashes. Kind of tilt that up a little bit as well. So it looks like the eyelashes are flicking, the natural curve of them. Just like that. Beautiful. So... Um, always, I find that a lot of people, I sometimes they'll just use mascara or sometimes they'll just use eyeliner. Make sure you use both of them together um, and that just ensures um, clarity of the eyes really. So we're just going to flip that out just like that and you can also, what you can do is to give them a more sultry look. I'll just get you to look up Jasmine. Just apply that just underneath, just nice and lightly. It's a bit of a trick this one, a lot of people don't know that you can use mascara um, as, a, as a sort of eyeliner, but you can, and I find it actually stays for longer most of the time. Right, so next we're going to be doing um, the lip colour. So it's important that when you're using a lipstick and a lip gloss that you want to find one that um, blends well together, so you don't want two totally clashing colours. So today I'm going to be using this one here, it's a Maybelline Luscious Lip Collection, along with this one, it's from Clarins. So as you can see, those two colours just go really nicely together, it's sort of a purpley and an orange coral. So what we're going to do, we're going to put this one just on the bottom lip here, and on the top lip. Now Jasmine has quite a, um, a thin top lip so in order to create balance we're going to um, just accentuate that top lip. Make sure you don't lose the curve when, when you're doing that. <clears throat> oh my gosh it looks so much bigger already. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to use this brush next just to create an even bigger line. Now, as Jasmine has got quite a um, dark complexion, we, we're going to use this dark colour. You can use any sort of dark um, eyeshadow I find works. And just to um, lip line the lips there. Just blending, see how I'm blending this, this colour and this colour here, just to get that skin tone that Jasmine has. Just keeping it nice and natural. And that's looking <laughs> really good, I think. So, um, back to this one. We're going to put this nice orange one over the top. Now, a tri trick with this one is just put it in the middle. And the light will actually hit that and it will make your lips look more full in the middle. So put it on the top as well. Just like that. And um, 
Right, it's always important because she has such um, dramatic lips. They're not too dramatic, but um, at the moment they're kind of imbalanced with the eyes. We need to do a bit more with the eyes. So I'm going to fill in the eyebrows here. She's got quite um, thin eyebrows, does Jasmine. So we'll just get her colour. And once again, we're going to use the same one for the lips just to balance that out. So grab quite a lot of it because you want to get that nice thick look of eyebrows so you just want to get a nice straight line there and then sort of bring it over now this year um, the look is very full at the start and um, gradually getting uh, more thin to the end and just curve that down just almost so it touches the fake eyelashes but not quite because we don't want it connecting see the difference between this one and this one this one just balances with the face this one is just doesn't quite have that oomph that we want so again just making sure that they're nice and even filling that in into the end almost touching the eyelash but not quite just make it a little bit thinner that is looking immaculate. Um, so I'm just going to make, make the lips add even another colour. We've got this nice red one. This is number 7 Clarins Paris collection. So really good. Just to add that extra va va va. Especially if you're wearing your little LBD out. You want to add a bit of colour. So, And this will also help it to sort of blend in with the other colours. So really pushing those edges now, and it's all about balance, so what you want to do, get a little bit of this on your hand, put it on your fingers and you can just dab that on, just to create a sort of blusher, and it just it gives her a bit of colour, which is what we're looking for. Just like that. The last thing I'm going to do is put um, some highlighter on. So that just reflects in the light. This is Revlon Age Defying Spa um, Illuminator. So what we do, this one I like because you can turn it to on and you can turn it to off. And So once you've got it on on, you just squeeze it out just a little bit. Here we go. Just a little bit like that. And it's got the built-in brush. So just along the cheekbones just just a little bit you only need a little bit because um, it'll really catch the light so that, put it around there like that um, Jasmine has quite a little chin so if we want to make that stick out a little bit just put it there also on the tip of her nose once again to balance, just to smear up there. <laughs> so we'll just get a close up of that. Well, before I do, I'll just blend it a little bit. Just make sure you blend. Blend all those colours in. <clears throat> all right. So I'll just get a close up of that. So I'll just get a close up of that one. Could just turn <laughs> just turn to the side, thank you, Jasmine. And there we go, that's the evening look complete. So I hope you enjoyed the videos. Hopefully it won't be so long till I make my next one. But um subscribe to me, leave comments, reply, um yeah. Cool. Thanks guys. Bye.